Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. My name is Tom and I'm the tech chap and in this video I'm going to compare the Rode VideoMic Pro with the Blue Yeti microphone to see which one sounds better for close-up voiceover recordings like this one. Audio and sound quality are just as important as video quality. You could have the best camera in the world, but if your video sounds rubbish, no one's going to watch it. One of the first things I did when I started the Tech Chap channel was to buy an external microphone. Pretty much any kind of external mic will be far superior to the onboard microphone on your camera. I looked at reviews and found the Rode VideoMic Pro to be a popular choice. The Shogun mic easily plugs into my camera with its 3.5mm jack cable and attaches to its hot shoe. It's very easy and very convenient. Sound quality is also very good and I like being able to switch to the plus 20 dB setting which means I can reduce the volume on the camera itself, reducing the hiss that you can sometimes get from the cameras. I've attached it to a pistol grip accessory for this video so I can point it wherever and keep it stable when it's not attached to the camera itself. It's a great all round microphone, but as the Tech Chap channel grows, I want more audio recording options to make my videos look and sound as high quality and professional as possible. So another microphone I've heard lots about is the Yeti from Blue Microphones. You can get it in various colors and models. This one is the Platinum Edition, not the more expensive Yeti Pro or Yeti Studio. This stylish desktop microphone is ideal for voiceovers, podcasts, and even interviews with its range of cordoid, which I'm using now, omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo recording patterns. You can also manually adjust the gain on the back as well as listen to the recording by plugging in a pair of headphones into the 3.5mm jack underneath the mic. It connects to your computer and is powered by a single USB cable, which means you need to record the sound with a program like Audacity, which I'm using now, rather than the audio being recorded with the video like I'm doing with the Rode mic that's plugged into the camera's 3.5mm jack. So the Rode is slightly more convenient assuming you do have a mic input on your camera. So what about the sound quality? Well, as you can hear, I've been switching between the, each microphone throughout this video to give you an impression of how they sound when recording a voiceover like this. If I move further back from the mics, you can get an idea of how each one sounds when I'm not quite as close, not quite in the optimal uh, proximity to each mic, which you need to be. Uh, and you can hear sort of how there's a drop off between now and as I get closer and start talking closer to the microphones, you can hear which one sounds a bit better. So obviously you want to be as close as possible, speak as calmly and as uh, clearly as possible. But of course, if you do shout, you will peak the microphone. That's not very good at all. And if you're further away, then you're gonna reduce the quality and the clarity of your audio. Given the size and weight difference, and the fact that I can easily connect the, video, the Rode video mic to my camera, means if I'm shooting out and about, perhaps at a trade show or a con convention, I'll use the video mic and probably put a dead cat over the cover to reduce wind noise. But if I'm making a video where I'm at my desk or in a studio, I'll use the Yeti with a pop guard attachment. So in terms of price, you can buy this version of the Yeti for £99 or $99. We definitely do not get a good deal here in the UK. The most recent Rode VideoMic Pro with a slightly updated design costs around £170 or $190. And of course, you can find links to both these mics in the description below if you want to find out more or even buy one. Of course, at the end of the day, they're both designed for very different purposes. So you may want to consider investing in both, like me, and have multiple audio options. So let me know which one you prefer, which one you think sounds better in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you again on the Tech Chat. Cheers.